line now the formula for electric field intensity of a point charge. So let's have now the sample problem number one. So allow me to read the problem. So two charges are 60 cm apart in air. One charge, this is the Q1, is 1.67 times 10 raised to negative 7 coulomb. And the other, which is the Q2, is negative 1.67 times 10 raised to negative 7 coulomb. So what is the electric field intensity midway between the charges? Okay, let's start with an illustration. So let's illustrate this sample problem number one. So we have here two charges, a positive and a negative charge, which is this is the Q1 and this is our Q2. And in between these um, two charges, we have our distance which is 60 centimeters. And we are looking, uh, uh, looking, or we are uh, solving for the electric field intensity midway between these two charges. So, sample we have here our test charge midway between these two charges. So let's now identify the direction of the electric field. So let's start first with E1, electric field one. So since this is a positive charge, so the electric field that will be created by our positive charge is um, pointing outwards. So it will be to the right. And for the electric field, for the charge 2, so the direction since this is um, a negative charge, the electric field lines that will be created would be towards the negative or pointing inward so it is also to the right so there that is for our so let's identify the given so let's start with the um, distance so the distance of, between these two charges has a 60 centimeter so then we can now convert this one into meters dividing it by 100 centimeters so we can now have 0 0.60 meters then for our charge one we have a magnitude of positive 1.67 times 10 raised to negative 7 coulomb and for our charge two it's negative 1.67 times 10 raised to negative 7 coulomb and for our unknown so we will be solving for the e net or net of uh, electric field intensity of this charge okay for our formula for this problem we have here the electric field intensity is equivalent to the electrostatic constant times the charge divided by the distance squared and for our net of electric field intensity we have here the formula e1 plus e2 so let's now substitute so let's first solve for e1 so e1 is equivalent to k q1 all over r squared so since we are solving for the midway, so we now substitute. So we know that the electrostatic constant is have a value of 8.99 times 10 raised to 9 newton meter squared per coulomb squared times our charge 1, positive 1.67 times 10 raised to negative 7 coulomb divided by our distance squared so since we are dealing with midway so we need to divide that 0 0.60 meters into 2 so divided by 2 we can now have a value of 0 0.30 meter squared so cancel the same unit so cancel meters cancel also the coulomb one coulomb so that the unit for electric field is newton per coulomb so for our E1, we can now have a value of 1.67 times 10 raised to 4 newton per coulomb and the direction is away from positive Q1 or it is to the right. 
that is 4 hour e electric field intensity 1 okay next let's solve now for the electric in uh, electric field intensity 2 so let's substitute the electric constant which has a value of 8.99 times 10 raised to 9 newton meter squared per coulomb squared times the charge 2 which has a value of negative 1.67 times 10 raised to negative 7 coulomb divided by the distance midway so we can now have the 0 0.30 meter squared so using your calculator we can now have the value of our electric field 2 which has a value of negative 1.67 times 10 raised to 4 newton per coulomb or we can now have 1.67 times 10 raised to 4 newton per coulomb towards negative q2 or it is to the right so that is for our electric field intensity 2 okay let's now solve for our net of electric field intensity which has a formula of E1 plus E2 but before that we need to identify first the sign of this each electric field based on that direction so let's have first so E1 the direction of E1 is to the right so this is positive this is positive E1 and the direction of our electric field 2 is to the right also so we have here a positive E2 so let's now substitute for our, our electric field intensity 1 we have here a value of 1.67 times 10 raised to 4 newton per coulomb Ta a plus positive 1.67 times 10 raised to 4 newton per coulomb even though we ha um, our E2 is an it has a negative sign, but we need to focus on the direction of the electric field 2, which is to the right, that is a positive. So for our net of electric field intensity midway between these two charges, we can now have a value of 3.34 times 10 raised to 4 newton per coulomb and the direction is towards negative q or negative charge 2 or it is to the right so this is our net electric field intensity